Hey, it's Jay Gibbs. I'm going to be talking today about my hip replacement that I had and the reason why I went to India and show you some x-rays and stuff like that. All right, so February 23rd of 2020, I left Beaumont, Texas. I arrived in Chennai, India, February 25th, 2020. On February 27th, 2020, I had total hip replacement on my left hip. March 8th, I returned to Beaumont, Texas, and currently it is March 20 or sorry, May 28th, 2020, and I'm pretty well into my recovery. This is what did I see? Let's see. This is my 15th week post surgery. So my first official jujitsu class was May 25th, which was Monday of this week. So some of the things I've been doing, I've been uh, walking when I was at my apartment. So I've been through a lot of stuff. I, when I, I just moved here to Port Arthur, Texas. But anyway, when I was in my recovery stage, I was walking. First, I started walking with um, crutches. And then probably about by the fourth week, I went to a cane. And then, shoot, just recently, probably about a week or two ago, I stopped using my cane. Still got a pretty good limp, but I am training in jiu-jitsu, going pretty pretty easy, not training, you know, like not trying to go crazy. And I tell my partner, hey, if I yip like a little puppy dog, that means something's bothering me, so whatever. I rolled with my son before that. You know, we the longest we rolled was probably like a 30-minute session. All no gi, of course. Um, went to jiu-jitsu class. The first class we went to, we just drilled. And then we, you know, since this COVID-19 stuff, my second class I got to roll a little bit, and I felt pretty good both ways, actually. So um, I'm going to show you a couple x-rays, and I'm going to do the best I can with the uh, camera that I have and everything because it's probably pretty difficult to do it, me not holding the actual camera facing a certain way. So pre-surgery, I'll turn this light on so y'all can see better. Pre-surgery, this is, this is my hip. You can see that I have four screws in my femur. The screws are, these two are the bottom screws which they kept in. The top two screws they did not keep in. They had to take those out. So, you can see at the very top here, that's my femoral head and that my femur head is driving into the femoral head which has caused me a lot of pain. Here's another x-ray of where the femoral head is kind of grinding into the hip socket. And then you see the screws. These top ones, like I said, they removed. And then now you have after surgery, you got the brand new head of the femur. You have the spike that they had to hammer down into there. And you'll notice that at the very top they remove those screws to get the the um, spike down my hip um i'm not good with this stupid camera yet so right here is where they went into the femur bone and took out the screws so you see that hauled out a little bit all right so those are the x-rays shut this light off um, so what, you know, it took about 15 weeks. I still got a limp. I've always had a limp since fifth grade because I broke my femur. That's what those screws are from. But I am feeling pretty good. Um, I'm able to go to jujitsu, roll lightly and drill and stuff. And there's probably certain things that I can't do. Um, I've been riding an exercise bike, been walking a little bit, um, doing some 
some weight, a little bit of weights, not too much because, you know, with this COVID-19 stuff, a lot of the gyms were closed. So I, I've been doing like pull-ups, push-ups, little stuff like that. But currently I'm working on my, putting together my home gym. So that'll be another episode. But so overall, why did I go to India? Well, there's a lady. So I, I found out I had an MRI, right? So I found out I had two tears in both of my um, hips. I had two labrum tears and all kinds of other shit going on. But I went to the doctor in Lake Charles. When I spoke to the doctor, actually first I spoke to the PA. The PA was like, oh man, he goes, how old are you? And he's looking at my MRI and x-rays. And I'm like, I'm, at the time I was 54, I'm 55 now. And he's like, oh man, he goes, You're, we don't, I don't know if we can do anything for you. So basically, the surgeon I went to doesn't do hip replacement. And basically, once they looked at it, they said, oh, yeah, we can't do anything for you. So you're going to have to get your hip replaced eventually, you know, depending on the pain or whatever. Well, then the doctor left, you know, and he was real nice about it or whatever. But then I was just like, fuck, you know, that's part of my lifestyle is training in jiu-jitsu. So um, the little physician's assistant guy, the Cajun guy, was like, hey, you, you won't be able to train jiu-jitsu anymore because, you know, your hip will pop out of socket when you're training. So I'm like, that's just sound, that's fucked up, you know, I, I'm not giving this up. So I was upset, went home. The next day I took the day off um, and I searched the internet. So I came up with an article that was in, I'm trying to remember what freaking site it was. But anyway, the article was about a woman called Sonia Plavkin. She was... Uh, a master's division jiu-jitsu person. Uh, basically, she she had her hip replaced. She had basically the same thing going on that I did. And she had her hip replaced, but she did a lot of research on it, and she went to India for the hip replacement. And so I'm like, why the fuck did she go to India? So basically... After her own research, she found the answer to her prayers. She went to Chennai, India and had hip replacement surgery. Her surgeon's name was Dr. I don't know how to pronounce his first name. V-I-J-A-Y, Boys, B-O-S-E, is one of the top, top hip surgeons in the world. The technology being used in Europe and Asia was better than what is being used in here in the United States. And Dr. Boys promised me a new hip with no restrictions, including competition. And he was correct. Not only did I recover, but I won all my major titles post-hip replacement surgery. It was three months post-surgery before I was allowed to start doing technique again. I did a lot of physical uh, physical therapy and strength training during that time. I was able to get on the mat still teaching. It probably took a full year before she felt 100%. So I read this article and I contacted Sonia via I looked her up on Facebook, and of course she was on there. She's a married black belt, married to another black belt, and they own a gym called Twisted uh, Fitness in Wisconsin. So I contacted her. She was super helpful, very nice lady, um, really went out of her way to answer any of my questions. So like in, in India, in their culture, they sit cross-legged. So the reason the hips have to be a little more robust there is because the first thing they tell you for hip replacement is don't cross your legs. So the reason they're afraid that you're, you know, especially at first that your hip will pop out of socket. So, um, talk to her, ask her all kinds of questions and just started getting my passport, my visa, got all that done and set up my, uh, you know, I had a handler from his the doctor's office. I used the same doctor. Basically, they pick you up at the airport. They take you to the hospital. Everything's first class, you know. Um, so my flight cost me five grand to fly from Beaumont, Texas. I flew from Beaumont to Dallas, Dallas to uh, Dahar, Dahar to Chennai. And my one, the longest flight was from Dallas to Dahar, and that was a 12 and a half hour flight. I bought a business class ticket, which on this airline, 
was considered first class, so it was, it was pretty sweet. You could lie down in your chair and all that. And the reason I did that is because I didn't want this to be a miserable trip. Because if I was in coach, especially on the way back, I would have been literally miserable. But it was pretty good. So the ticket was five grand. The surgery itself was either 7,000 or 8,000. That's everything. The hospital stay, the food, which the food's fucking terrible. That's any hospital. Um, all the you know, drugs and shit and all the x-rays, MRIs. So needless to say, that's a lot cheaper. Plus they have a better hip. The reason it's a better hip is because the ball and the socket are larger. So that way, if your hip comes up, it's not going to pop out. So went there, got it done, had a, had a little experience there. I'm not going to really get into that much because this is getting pretty long. But, um, I can promise you the whole reason I went to do this was so that way I could still train jiu-jitsu. I'm not, I'm not like Sonya where I'm worried about, no, she's not worried about it, but you know, I'm not into the competition thing. I do it more for, you know, self-defense, um, staying in shape at 55 and just, you know, being able to do something that I enjoy to do. You're always learning in jiu-jitsu and stuff like that. So the timeline, like I said, February 23rd, got my hip, or got the surgery February 27th. Today is May 28th. I still limp, um, pretty much pain-free on the, the, the side that I had surgery with. Um, my right side's a little sore still, but I do have a tear there. But um, when Dr. Boyce looked at the x-rays, he basically said, yeah, your, your right hip is looking pretty good. You probably won't have to have a replacement on that. So right now it's just, you know, getting the left hip stronger through, uh, you know, some of the exercises they gave you. Pretty much they say that your hip will correct itself, um, you know, and if you do a lot of walking and, you know, like I ride the bikes, things of that nature. So it's definitely gotten a, a lot better. Um, like I said, if you're able to do jujitsu, even if it's at 40, 50%, you know, that's great. So I'm, I'm guessing by the time December hits, I should feel pretty much a hundred percent. So it's all good news. That's the deal. Um, but after, after the surgery, the doctor said you have no restrictions, just listen to your body. So it's not like you know, if I do jujitsu, my hip's going to pop out of socket just for the reason that the hips they do in India and in Europe, they have larger ball sockets and they have a lot less chance of popping out of place like a, a, a one they would use in America. Plus, the one that I got, uh, it's basically considered a 30-year hip instead of a like 15-year hip. Um, the good thing about hip, hip replacement it's a lot less of a tough recovery compared to knee. Knee replacement takes a long time to recover from hip surgery, not nearly as much, but the knee is a lot more of a complicated joint. The shoulder is probably the most, well, it is the most complicated joint. And um, so shoulder goes shoulder most complicated, knee second most complicated, and then I don't know after that, but hip is not so much. So um, my recovery is coming along pretty good. I'm able to train, you know, for sure drill. Uh, so the whole reason behind this is so I could train jujitsu. So the goal was my intent of the goal is complete. Um, I'll let you know as far as like my hundred percent ability to train eventually, but, um, that's the deal. If you guys have any questions or, um, you know, needing to get hip replacement or whatever, give me a call or get a hold of me on Facebook Messenger. Um, Jay Gibbs is where I'm, my name on Facebook. Uh, so, like I said, you know, she was great. She helped me through the situation and taught me through it. And I would love to give back to someone else. So, uh, that's really all I have for today. And, um, you know, if, don't be, if, if you have a goal, you got to meet your goal go for it. I mean, no one, no one should tell you, you, you know, oh, you're, you're an athlete, but oh, you had a great run, but you know, you can't do that anymore. That's, that's bullshit. So there's always other ways to
to go about solving a problem. I was just lucky enough to have uh, Miss Sonia do the research for me, and I just piggybacked off her and used her knowledge and went to Dr. Boyce in Chennai, India, and shoot, I really have no complaints. I mean, I have, have a couple experiences that I might talk to you about later about the trip to India and some of the communication problems, but other than that, man, it was definitely worth the money and worth my time, and uh, I would do it again if I had to. All right, bye.